Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson on technique. We're going to be talking about five different techniques here on the red strap. Hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, vibratos, and bends. These five techniques, all right? Let's go ahead and jump right in. Hammer-ons and pull-offs. I'm sure you're familiar, but check it out. There's a couple great ways we can get involved. So I'm going to go ahead and start with an A note here on the high E string. Fifth fret. First letter of, the, letter of the alphabet, why not? Now, we're gonna be doing a little um, technique with our four fingers as if we were just playing one at a time, right? One finger at a time. However, we're gonna start hammer on A to B flat. But when you're doing a hammer on, I'm sure a lot of people have a tendency to want to just play very quickly, but just be patient, play deadly slow. Look, make sure your technique is good. First finger right behind the fret. Second finger, when you strike it, it should be just as loud as the first one was. That's the goal. So go really slow, hammer on, and try to have good technique so your finger ends up right behind the fret just as the first one is as well. Here, let's get a close-up. Okay? So we're just hammering on. The idea is we want our second note to be just as loud as our first note. We want to strike down right on the tip top of our finger. Bam! We want to hold down and squeeze tight afterward and sustain. Make sure you're holding down. Hold down. One. You're still, I'm still sustaining on that finger. And then finally, boom, hammer on. Hit it. And I sustain this one. So don't just kind of like take your fingers on and off. Make sure you're holding down. Don't let go of this one ever. Smack down very strong. Get the volume out. Okay. Once you can do that, you can start speeding it up. Okay. Now the opposite is a pull off. So we're just going to take these two and we're going to we're going to do the opposite. So the thing is you got to leave the lower finger on before doing the pull off. So here I have this one. This is lower. Remember low in pitch. This is lower on the guitar. This goes higher. So this one's held down. They're actually both there already. I'm going to hit this and then pull off, but kind of, I'm going to yank down a little on the string. See that? It's not just pulling it straight off the top. You can do that, but actually pull off. You have to pull a little bit. So pulling on the string, a little yanking down, see? And now the goal again is to get the same volume out of both notes and have sustain on both. Okay. Pull off. Pull up, pull up. We can start to go quicker if you have good clean sounds from both. Remember, leave your hands on there. Pull off. Okay, boom. Now we got the pull off. Now we're going to try both hammer on and a pull off. Hammer on. And then pull off. So you hear three sounds. Only pick once. Picking right away. One, two, three. You hear three sounds. Do, do, do. Ha hammer on, pull off. Hammer, pull. Do, do, do. One, two, three. One, two, three. Clean sounds. All right, now let's go to the next fingers, okay? Now we're gonna start with the second finger here. On this B flat, <clears throat> or A sharp. And then, hammer on this one. This is a bit, a bit harder now. Okay, this is just the basic warm up. So we start with half steps, then we do major seconds, then minor thirds. This exact same thing with, with these three intervals. These are half steps, the close ones. You gotta be stretched out. Make sure you're stretching your hand a lot. This exercise will help you stretch as well because see my fingers are both right in front of the fret good technique not like that not crunched in not backwards both right behind the metal bar right behind it tip of the finger okay so try it with this one hammer on boom pull off let's just do that in order hammer on and then hit it pull off yank down a little so we're gonna try this slow <clears throat> good technique good power Equal volume, that's the goal. Now let's just try all three. 
hammer and pull off. Equal volume on each is the goal. That's the key that will really help you sound awesome. Listen to the sound. It's music is sound, so focus on the volume being the same. Do your best to make that happen. And your physical motor skills will figure out the right thing to do. Your ear will guide it, and your hand will just do it. But listen. Alright? See if you can go a little faster. Now let's go to the last one, okay? So third finger and pinky. Hammer-ons, just hammer-ons first. Let's do the same process. Feel it up, and then we can use tempo. This is just to show you the beginning. Later on, you can do this with the tempo. But right now, we're trying to get good, clean sounds, equal volume. We're just focusing on that. Good sustain. Okay, now pull-offs. Pull off. Remember to yank on the pull-off a little bit. Yanking it down will help. The string bounce. You can just pull it directly up too. And there's ways to subtly, but if you, ha you have to kind of pull on the string a little to really get the volume to pop. Now we do all three, hammer on and pull off. Just try it at your own tempo, try it in this one. All right. A little warm up, stretch your fingers, relax, relax. This is a hammer ons and pull offs. We got more things to do. Let's do some more basics. Now, <clears throat> let's try this one in order. Hammer on every string, every fret, each finger. All hammer ons, once you hit it, leave the one before. And then pull offs. All of them are down. Yank, yank, yank. All of them are down first. All of them are down. Equal volume, pulling, yanking from the string. This is gonna help with great legato, smooth playing. And it will help you build a lot of speed. Being able to hammer on and pull off will help you build speed. Make sure you can hear equal four different things. But then, when you can do that, you can start to speed it up. Move. This is a great warm up before playing, because then when you go to play. It's easy to hammer on and pull off on the scales that you already know. But to make sure that the sound is ringing through, it's a good idea to kind of, you know, try like this. So the next step, we're gonna hammer on up, pull off down. And just keep it going. But it's good to be able to do it slow and in time. Music is in time, right? So it's really good to be able to actually practice and do it in time. As much time as it takes, this is just the way, the way to get there. So everything that we just did is a basic warm-up, hammer rounds and pull-offs. You can apply it to your scales. And then the next step, we did all half steps. We'd be to do only whole steps. Same thing, right? Try it out only whole steps. Hammer rounds and pull-offs. This one is pretty tough, but just try it. Yeah, this one is much harder. So no worries. Try to go slow, right? Let's do, the, let's do the next one, okay? This is not as hard, at least not for me. Maybe easy for you. Try to get equal volume. It's very tough, relax the hand, relax the hand. Don't have to overdo it either, but this is a great way to do a little warm up. And then we're gonna do minor third. These ones. Oh, that's much harder. But if you just attempt this for a minute, you're gonna be able to stretch so much better on your guitar and be able to do all kinds of just basic chords that you might have the trouble with. Stretching really helps, and this is a good stretch. This is really tough, but you might have to do this sometimes. 
So we do all fingers. These are major thirds, then minor thirds. Okay? And we could have done the same thing, hammer on, but this this time if we hammer on up, it's kind of like you can leave them if you can't if if possible. But if it's really too hard, you can roll your hand like you kind of do two at a time. You kind of roll your hand. All right, now let's try the roll with the minor third. All right, that's a basic warm up you can do: stretching, hammer ons, pull offs. All right, hammer ons and pull offs. Next step, next step for hammer hammer ons and pull offs is we just actually play it and we play and have fun. Next step for hammer ons and pull offs: applying it to your scales. I'm gonna choose the key of A minor. So if you're in this program, uh, you will know this if you don't already. The cage system for major and minor. So there it is for A minor. Okay. So first then we play our chord. Then we play our arpeggio. Then we play our scale. Here's our minor pentatonic scale, A minor. I'm gonna hammer on and pull off everything, okay? I'm gonna hammer on and pull off. So hammer on going up. Pull off going down. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Only one pick. Pull off, pull off, pull off, pull off. This helps with sextuplets. That's one of our red strap rhythms. basic ones to get a sextuplet feel on or a 16th note. So here's an idea of taking that minor pentatonic scale. I'm gonna hammer on and pull off only two strings at a time. That gives me a four feel or a 16th note thing. Or eighth note. Or anything with four. Like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And a four feel. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So these two, these two. Be good to just practice your scale like that. These two, these two. And pull offs. These two, these two. So you can target two at a time. That's a great way to practice it. Or three at a time. So three at a time, two at a time. These are great ways to practice. And then you can do that with all of your scales. So the next shape, you know, would be right here. Right? So we can do the scale like that. I'm just gonna play all the minor pentatonic scales right here, okay? Just so you can see. So this one's here. So one similar idea to that that we could take is just skip a string. Skipping strings. Just hold one spot, hammer on hammer. On. Or pull off, pull off. So, this is another way you can practice this any of your scales. And if you know more scales than that, of course, three note scales, hammer on the whole thing. Pull off the whole thing. This is how you can start getting really fast speed sextuplets. You could also go through your scales this way, three notes at a time, three notes per string, hammer on pull off through your scales. So like here's A minor, so Pull off, go down. That's another great way to practice your hammer on some pull offs. Trying to get a good clean sound. And then when you actually
actually play, it's gonna be easy. All right, so there are some ways you can practice your hammer runs and pull offs using scales, pentatonic scales, three note per string, really any type of scales. And then of course, just doing some chromatic things with it just to get the hands working, the technique, all that stuff. Practice some of these things a little bit as your warm up, and then just really play with it a lot when you're actually playing music. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Get to practicing and I'll see you in the next lesson.